Hi Phil, nice to see you again. Welcome to the AWS Enterprise video series. Thanks, it's great to be here. So this afternoon we're going to be talking about building teams for cloud. So why don't we get started by just sharing some experiences on how it's different to build teams for the cloud versus building teams for traditional IT. Well, I think first of all, uh, a lot of organizations will start uh, by thinking that they need to uh, build an outside team or hire a group of cloud specialists. And really, uh, I, um, I've seen organizations be successful with the individuals that they already have in their organization. And obviously that comes through training and experience, but you just don't want to train a bunch of individuals uh, on your team for the cloud and, and deposit them back in the same uh, IT operating model. So it's important to pair that training of your internal teams and that investment you're making with your cloud operating model and um, and actually how groups will function and that with the cloud and the, one of the key elements of that is creating a cloud center of excellence and that cloud center of excellence is a cross-functional group of individuals um, in your organization from security to infrastructure to product development and software engineering who are all working together on your initial projects in the cloud to show success and to really establish that new operating model so that as you train individuals, uh, they are able to uh, follow in that same pattern and your cloud operating model and your cloud center of excellence matures and continues to provide new learnings to the organization and your newly trained team. So the, from what I understand then, this is an iterative and collaborative model. So what are, what are the best places for an organization to start? Well, um, going back to the Cloud Center of Excellence, it's a great place to build your core cloud capability uh, and grow it, but really there's not a, um, a one-size-fits-all approach there. Uh, I've seen organizations um, build very large teams and put them in a completely separate building, isolated from uh, all of the legacy parts of the business, and then I've seen other organizations deposit uh, their cloud center of excellence in the middle of all of the existing projects and uh, figure out how to adapt. And really the, the, the right answer is somewhere in the middle probably where most organizations fall and they're able to uh, build that capability with some visibility to the rest of the organization so that they'll be able to see some of the evidence of, um, of, the, of what the cloud is capable of offering. So what are some of your thoughts about why AWS is the best platform for building teams in the cloud? Well, I think that the training and certification uh, is an important aspect and AWS has spent a lot of um, effort and put a lot of focus into providing programs that uh, across different technical levels that ensure um, there's a different persona for uh, certification for different personas in the organization, whether you're a developer or an architect and or a project manager. And so uh, organ a lot of organizations are using certifications as a baseline for their progress and maturity and can even correlate uh, their progress and their migrations to the number of certified individuals. Uh, for organizations that don't have um, all of the team that they would like at this point to achieve all of their goals uh, in, in leveraging the cloud, uh, the AWS Partner Network is a pretty common uh, option for enterprises to use almost in a pair of programming or to augment their staff uh, and accelerate some of the, the adoption that they see. Great, so it's, it's interesting to hear that this is beyond your team, it might actually involve uh, some outside resources. So in, in closing, are there any last thoughts or parting words that you would like to share with the audience? Yeah, I think uh, when you think about uh, the cloud and the right team for to achieve value with it, I, I think you should really uh, expand uh, the view of what that could be because I've seen success with in cloud teams uh, that have come from test automation groups, from the infrastructure team and from the software engineering team, either working together or individually. And so I don't think there's a single mold that you have to follow. Uh, it's really the individuals that you think are gonna deliver the most value for those types of initiatives. Great, thank you so much, I appreciate the time. Glad to be here.